Committee will vote on three bills aimed at improving the water quality and ecosystem of Jamaica Bay and the surrounding area. Jamaica Bay's future is in severe jeopardy as 50% of the bay's marshy islands have vanished from 1900 to 2000 and sea levels continue to rise. Further, with increased uh, precipitation, it is likely that the groundwater table will rise even more in the watershed, resulting in a variety of consequences that could potentially affect the 500,000 people who live in Jamaica Bay watershed adjoining Jamaica Bay. For New York City's waterfront communities adjoining Jamaica Bay, this is a life-threatening reality. Furthermore, extreme weather events could cost $90 billion in damages by 2050, compared to the $19 billion caused by Superstorm Sandy. In the future, we can expect increased flooding in New York City. Proposed Intro 628A will require a map and study that will help identify areas within the city most susceptible to flooding and require the creation of a mitigation plan to address that flooding. This will enable the city and its residents to better prepare for extreme weather events such as flooding. Proposed Intro 749A would require an agency designated by the mayor to study installed geothermal systems in city-owned buildings, including any impediments as well as to undertake an energy modeling analysis. It would also require the development of a pilot program to provide heating, cooling, or another beneficial use of discharge waters from dewatering operations in city-owned buildings. Finally, proposed intro 750A establishes a Jamaica Bay Task Force to provide recommendations to the mayor and the speaker of the council, as well as the, to the Bay, Jamaica Bay Science and Resilience Institute on the uh, ecological integrity, cleanup, and resiliency of Jamaica Bay, its surrounding watershed, underground aquifer, and groundwater service area. In light of Climate Week, I am thrilled that we are voting on these bills today. I want to thank our speaker, Corey Johnson, for his strong environmental leadership. I want to thank my co-sponsors on the bill uh, who represent this area, including Donovan Richards, Adrian Adams, and Danique Miller. And of course, thank our uh, staff attorney, uh, Samara Swanston, our policy analyst, Nadia Johnson, our financial analyst, uh, Jonathan Seltzer, and my uh, legislative counsel, Nicholas Wazowski. I also want to recognize our colleagues here uh, on members of the committee, uh, Councilmember Espinal, uh, Councilmember Menchaca, and Councilmember Richards, all environmental advocates and, and strong proponents in their own right. Uh, with that, I recommend a yes vote on all three bills. And Councilmember Yeager as well. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection. All items are coupled. Chair Constantinides. Vote aye. Espinal. I vote aye. Menchaca. I vote aye on all, and if you could please add me to 628A and 749A. Richards. Aye. Thank you. Yeager. Aye. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. We'll leave the vote open uh, for other. Hmm? for Councilmember Levin until such time that the next committee needs to begin.